Looks like I found a new open source data analysis companion introducing EDA GPT. EDA GPT is your personal and comprehensive solution for all your data analysis needs. Whether you're analyzing structured data in CSV or XLSX files, or utilizing it in SQLite format, you can generate insightful graphs and different types of detailed analysis of your data. Chat with your data or conduct in-depth analysis of unstructured data, such as PDFs and images. EDA GPT is here to assist you in almost every step of the way when it comes to data. Just take a look at this Google Collab example showcasing EDA GPT. In this example, they have ingested a structured table and fed it into EDA GPT, allowing you to ask a series of different types of data analytical questions. In this case, you can see that the first question asked is about the genre with the maximum liveliness, and EDA GPT provides the genre name. This is just one example that focuses on providing that name. As you scroll through different types of questions, you can see various sorts of qualitative data being exported with the help of EDA GPT. There are predictive modeling charts, graphs, or even numbers. This showcases the capability of this amazing framework, which you can easily get started with today. Now, this is something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video. I'll be demonstrating how you can get started, how to install EDA GPT, and showcasing its capabilities. So with that thought in mind, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. So let's get straight into the video. First, we're going to talk about the various ways you can use this app. There are actually seven or eight different methods to utilize EDA GPT. You can focus on structured data analysis, where you can analyze structured data by uploading your files. EDA AGPT will then interactively provide visuals or data correlated analysis. You have graph generations, analysis of different questions, and comparisons of the performance of the data you upload. You can utilize NLP to help you with this. In my opinion, the best approach is utilizing Claude 3.5 or Sonnet 3.5 as your data analytical LLLM. This is because of the capabilities of the large language model itself, helping you to have it interactively work with the GPT agent of EDA you'll be able to focus on unstructured data analysis. You have multimodal search where you can upload different file types, including images, and it will be able to analyze these various types. Data cleaning and editing are also available, which is really helpful if you're working with data entry tasks or large amounts of data that need to be cleaned up. Now, there are a lot of key features I'll mention before we move forward. These include comprehensive data analysis tools that support various file types such as CSV, SQLite, PDFs, images, audio files, and even YouTube videos, which is remarkable. You also have a special class called LangGraph Chain, designed to handle complex queries. This is related to more complex data analytical uploads, where you'll focus on higher data architectures, advanced retrieval augmented generation RRG, multi-query listings, and filtering you have the ability to focus on interactive visualizations as well as different types of context bridge analysis reports. You can utilize natural language for interactions, generating visuals and insights while supporting a wide range of LLMIMS. There are auto clean features for data cleaning and classification models for faster inference. These are all the features associated with EDA GPT. This is an open source framework that not a lot of people know about, and it's something that I definitely recommend you get started with right away if you do not have a data analytical GPT. Many people use Julius and other data analytical tools, but in my opinion, this is currently the best framework for data analysis. So how do you get started? Well, there are a couple of prerequisites that we need to fulfill beforehand. You need to ensure that you have Python installed as your programming language get installed and pip installed. Once you have these three prerequisites fulfilled, you can proceed with the setup. First, you'll need to copy and clone this repository. To do so, simply copy the command provided and paste it into your command prompt if you're on Windows. Start cloning the repository. It will take a couple of seconds. In the meantime, you can copy the next command, which is cdedagpt. This is necessary because we're going to navigate into the EDA GPT directory to start installing the requirements. 
So once this is finished, I'll move forward with that. In the meantime, as it's cloning, there are a couple of other things you can do. You can start getting the API keys from Panda AI, Google Gemini's API, if you're going to be utilizing that model and any other API keys you plan to use, such as OpenAI's Anthropics or Hugging Faces APIs. So if you're going to be utilizing certain features, tools, or large language models, gather those API keys. We'll set them up afterward as we install this. Once the cloning is finished, we can proceed. Now that it has finally cloned, we just need to navigate into the CDEDADPT directory. Once there, copy the next command, which is for creating a virtual environment. This is where you will want to create a virtual environment directory. Simply copy and paste the command. It will install within a couple of seconds, installing all the essential packages. Once that is done, you can then set your API keys. Once it has finished cloning, open up the EDA GPT folder, select that folder, and trust the authors at your own discretion. Next, set up the secrets.ml file inside the streamlift folder. To do this, head over to the streamlift folder, find the config file, and set all the different API keys that you need. Once you have set that, you can start up the server or application on your local host with Streamlit. To do this, go back into the EDA GPT command prompt and paste in the command. Allow access based on your discretion. If you haven't specified a model or any API keys, it will show an error, but this is how you can easily start up the server and access EDA GPT. Now, I really want you to understand what this platform is capable of, so I encourage you to watch a video from the creators of this project. The video will explain all the features and provide an overview of what the project is about, giving you a better idea of how you can use EDA GPT. I will now queue up that video so you can get a comprehensive understanding of EDA GPT and its capabilities. Hello and welcome to EDA GPT app. In the bottom part of homepage, you will find a notebook attached showing an example of what EDA GPT can do. You can have a look. After home section, we have EDA GPT section and edit data section. Here you can edit and clean data using AutoClean. Currently, this section supports CC data. Next is settings section. Here you can see two main features. You can choose among embeddings that are suitable for your unstructured data by experimentation if needed. Also, you can add your own API keys based on the model you want to use. Next, we will look into EDA GPT. Here we have structured and unstructured sections. Let's first look into some instructions. Instructions contain information on how to use this app. Here is a comparison with Pandas AI released by Pandas and EDA GPT. It beats Pandas AI in almost all benchmarks. Its ability to form complex queries is really impressive. Next, we have the unstructured section. Here you can collect unstructured data and store it into a PDF. You can upload and let the LLM analyze it. You can choose from a wide variety of LMS, but I would love if you could explore this section by yourself. So let's look into structured data. Here you can analyze tables in CSVE or XLSX formats. You can also upload SQL Elite database and connect your Postgres database. We will use Gemini 1.5 Pro for this demo and set the temperature to 0.93. After setting temperature, let's choose a CSV data called Gapminder Unclean. After uploading the dataset, you will see a data frame. It contains data about countries, GDP per capita, life expectancy, and years in which these parameters were measured. Click on Analyze to analyze the data. Soon, a report will be shown. It will show you initial EDA and plots on the data. The analysis report describes the data talks about summary statistics, it derives insights from the data, and shows you its conclusion. This detailed analysis report is the first step of performing EDA using EDA GPT. Next, you can see various charts, graphs, and derive insights from them. You have pair plot between numerical columns. You have bar, box, and pie charts here. Look how beautiful the distribution between continents look. You can talk to EDA GPT and ask it questions on the data. It will respond with answers and code. Let's ask it some questions. Within few seconds, your answer will be shown. 
So it responded. And Q8 is the right answer. Let's ask it some more question. Wonder how population of India, China, and USA evolved over the years. No worries, EDAGPT will get your answer. It will run for a few seconds and after analyzing, it will respond with answer. Here is the answer. Notice how this time it responded with a graph. And it seems both India and China's population increased by a huge factor. While population of USA remained almost steady. Let's ask one more question and see how it respond. We will ask it to answer in words. Again, it will take around 10 seconds to answer. Here is the answer. Notice how it prompted you to ask better questions. It responded with an intelligent question after critically thinking about the question we just asked. This will help the language model take better decision. Let's take a question from its suggested list. We'll copy this question and paste it here. Let's run and wait for a few seconds. Here is the answer. It returned three things this time. A graph, country with highest life expectancy and lowest. The country with highest life expectancy during that time appears to be Japan and lowest is some country in Africa. Let's analyze the graph. Notice how population of Asia increased so much over time while Europe, Africa, and Oceania almost have zero slope. This way, you can use natural language to ask complex question about the data. The code generated will give you the answers. Hope you liked the app and give it a try. We are open to feedbacks. Please email to us at mrpolymathematica at gmail.com. Welcome and have a nice day. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is the capability of this incredible AI data companion that you can utilize completely for free on your computer. I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. I hope you got some value out of it. I definitely recommend that you read through their GitHub repository because there is a lot of valuable information that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give them a star on GitHub and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Have an amazing day filled with positivity and I'll see you guys very shortly.